Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to run A-B tests on your Facebook posts using the Meta Business Suite account. And this is a free way to do it. You don't have to run Facebook ads to be able to run A-B tests on Facebook. You can do that in Facebook Business Suite, which is now called Meta Business Suite. And you can do these A-B tests on regular organic Facebook posts that doesn't have to be boosted or added to a Facebook ad campaign. And if you want to run an A-B test on a Facebook post, all you have to do is open up Meta Business Suite. So go to business.facebook.com or you can just open up the Facebook page and make sure you have switched into the Facebook page. Then on the left, you should see Meta Business Suite under more tools, click on it and you will arrive in your Meta Business Suite account where this Facebook page is added to because every Facebook page has different Meta Business Suite accounts, so keep this in mind. And if you want to create an A-B test on your Facebook page, all you have to do is click on the content on the left here and under content, you're gonna see A-B tests here. By the way, you can also create a post and add the A-B test there, but the easiest way is to do it here so you can see the A-B tests you are currently running or you have ran in the past. And to create a new A-B test on a Facebook post, all you have to do is click on create A-B test here. Then first you have to select the format of the Facebook post. So as you can see, you can A-B test a Facebook video post, a Facebook image post, a Facebook link post, or you can A-B test a Facebook text. So let's say we want to A-B test a Facebook image post, and then we have to add the photo. You now this is just a test photo, so don't worry about it. And then you would add the text here, and this would be the default version. So Facebook would compare the performance of this version to the version B. And then we also have to select then image here, then add the photo here. We can add the same photo to the Facebook post, but in this version we wouldn't add any text and we want to know using this A-B test whether a post with some description performs better or a Facebook post without any kind of uh, description text. You would then click on next. You can also name this A-B test so you can find it later. You can add the description optionally so you know what this A-B test was all about. And then you can also select what kind of metrics you want to use to determine which is the winner Facebook post from the A-B test. So you can select reactions, shares, comments, people reach and link clicks. So if you're running a Facebook page, this is a really valuable feature. So let's say we want to maximize the reach of our Facebook posts, then you would select people reach. And you can also select test duration, which means how long you want this Facebook A-B test to run. I would always choose the highest amount because in that case you will get the most amount of data and you will be able to conclude which version of the A-B test performed better based on significant statistical data. So once you selected the key metric and the test duration, just click on publish now. You can also schedule this uh, Facebook post. So if you don't want to publish them right away, you can also schedule them. So let's say we want to schedule to this date and time and then click on schedule. And as we can see here, your Facebook A-B test has been created. The winning version of this post will be determined based on your selected key metric, which is people reached in this case. After the test ends, the top performer will automatically be the only one distributed. So you don't have to do anything after the test is ended. Facebook will keep the post which performs better and you can view the results on the A-B test tab. So if we close this out, we can click on it and we will see some statistics and results on how each version of the A-B test is performing. So this is how to create and run A-B tests on Facebook.